Yo, 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 where Brooklyn at? Where Brooklyn at? What's up? It's your boy Big Chase here with my brother, the Mama Wanna God, K Lo K. What up, boy? What's up, peoples? What's going on? Welcome, welcome to Man Cave. Hey, hey, we back for another one of our artist spotlight series. We keep telling you, we bringing you the hottest stuff on the planet, man. Listen, people doing all these digital content creators, animators, man. We got people coming on doing statues. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. So tonight we speaking to a special gentleman, man. He is another concrete artist title that you need to check out. The work is crazy, man. So without further ado, pause. Okay, okay, you want to tell them how to find us? Uh, you can find us on TikTok, Twitch, Spotify, Apple TV, Apple Music, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, Apple, Instagram. Spotify. Yeah, all, all, yeah, all, all, all that. Man. We we outside. <laughs> we outside. Exactly. Don't forget to check us out every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern time on YouTube. Jump in the chat room, man. We're going to be talking about the coolest things on the planet, all the nerdy stuff that you love. Nerdy news, what's going on in the movies, what's going on with these streaming platforms and whatnot, which definitely you don't want to miss this Thursday. You're going to be talking about a lot of crazy stuff. Without further ado, let's bring in our guest, my man, Mr. Anajay Rouse. What's Whoa. up, bro? What's up? What's good? All right, man. Good. Yo, welcome to, man. Listen, welcome to Man K 101. We're glad to have you here, bro. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> hey. So listen, we, we've been checking out some of your work, guy. Like, yeah. listen, your, your titles look real great, man. So let's let's start at the beginning. Let's start at the beginning. Yeah. Okay, so how did you get into this game? Okay, well, for me, it pretty much, uh, you know, since I'm still independent, you know, I'm still kind of like, it started off slow. I kind of, because I've always been like artistic growing up. I used to draw a lot. So mm -hmm. the first actual Odina book, I drew myself, which right. was like seven or eight years ago. But then I was like, I kind of want to take this to the next level. So okay. I started learning like how to like really process like making your own book and how to go about distributing it and all that stuff. So I contracted out, you know, like certain parts to, you know, the job that goes into creating a comic book, which is, okay. you know, the artist, the writer, letterer, all that stuff. So me, I'm the creator and writer, so then I started help getting other people to help me put it together. So once okay. I did that, I met up with my brothers at Concrete, and we kind of like formed like Voltron, and was like, let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be careful when they form like Voltron, baby. Blaze this hood. Uh oh, yes, that's sir. Just up. That's what's up, man. So I'm um, listen. I'm gonna run this video. video. We got we got some of your work up, man. Just tell us, tell us about Odina, and I see you got a, what's the other one called? The other title. Uh, Kendaki? Yeah, hey, Ancestor Circle. Oh, oh Ancestor Circle. Circle. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to run this video, man. You can just t tell us about the title. Tell us what the story is about and all of that. Yeah. Um, the first book is going to be, uh, well, Kendaki right here is pretty much, um, it's kind of like my spin on like Af um, African history. Uh -huh. It was basically like, so back in the day during the BC era and the Kush kingdoms, there right. were queens, African queens called Kendakis. And they ruled over the city of Meroe, which they were not just queens, they were warrior queens. So they fought with their army. And so I kind of put my spin on it and kind of made it like an African lore where she's half demigod. So, Ooh. oh, yeah. okay. So, okay. Yeah. So the free, the first download is free, the issue zero on our website. Right. And it shows her back in the day, whereas in issue one, it picks up with her in modern day time because the book is a spinoff of Odina. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Listen, I, I, I'm not I ain't gonna hold you. I, I'm, I'm spelling spec all day long with that background, bro. That's crazy. So <laughs> let's, let's go, let's go, let's go to Odina real quick, cause I, we got, we got to talk about Odina. Okay, oh, so yeah. Odina, tell me about this. Yeah, Odina is like Power Girl meets Rogue. Like, um, oh, okay. Kinda, there's not too many. What you say? <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, you're talking, you're talking about his people right now. Yeah, you're talking about people. You know, like, if you look at the how, you know, most characters created, like, when I created her, I, I wanted someone to be, like, representative of my nieces, because I have, like, eight nieces. Okay. I wanted to kind of have a you know, black female superhero. And there weren't, before they started doing all this stuff now, there weren't many, like, a few. Right, 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 right. So I made, I created a female, you know, hero that could stand on her own. 
next to you know the supermans and stuff so I, that's why i kind of created her to kind of be that that character stand alone by herself like you know all the time we downplay our characters we we'll say oh we'll give them electrical powers or we'll do this and that's fine no no offense but i want my my superhero to be like she can go toe to toe with the best of them so that's why yeah. i like to do Hey, Listen, yeah, yes. you you get in claps a full salute yes, for me. Yes, yes. Let me tell you something. That that is one thing that I definitely have seen a lot of. Um, like we know that female characters tend to not get the type of love. Now, first of all, like one of my favorite characters is Storm from the X Men. Yes, and it's amazing to me because when you look at the original description, she's like six five. And whatnot, and you know, you know, she's a goddess. And once they started to bring it to to the theaters and everything, they started downing it. So now she's just a weather witch, and yeah, like what is she like? What are you talking about? Well, listen, I, I love I love Holly Berry, but I'm telling you, man, I was so no. off when they. <laughs> Look, I'm an X Men. I'm an X Men person. So when okay, and Storm has been the only one for years. So yeah. And, but when Storm, like, I mean, and don't get me wrong, I love Storm. Put some respect on her name. But right. like you said, when they started bringing her to, like, media, they kind of downplayed her and kind of yeah. watered her down a little bit. And, yeah. it, and, and this like, is before this is before the MCU even got it started. Yeah. So, and they still died her down for some apparent reason. I don't yeah. know why, but they still died it's, her down. They, they yeah. want to give her too much power. And at the end of the day, I, I just wasn't trying to hear it. I'm listen. I honestly, per, personally, I expected them to go find one of these supermodels, one of these six foot something Amazon goddess women, and put her in the suit. And you know, she's supposed to command so much. Yeah. And you know, like I said, I love Holly Berry, but when they when they when they did that, I was just like, oh my god. Yeah, what, I think man. that's the one thing when it came to cast and storm. Well, one, you know, get a like an uh, actress that kind of looks like her, but yeah. Storm has, she's regal. None of the actresses who played her are regal. Like she can stand in the in the room <laughs> and you like are drawn to her because she's that, like she, the Storm. That was, she's a bad, she, yeah. <laughs> she commands like, that presence. Yeah. Listen, it, it, listen, and I she, see, and that, I, actually, sorry, I see that you're trying to do the same, you're doing the same thing with your characters. Yeah. You're, put, you're putting them you're not putting them in um in like defenseless poses. You're putting them strong, yeah. feminine, and just overpowering. And yeah. I love that about your. Uh, I read a uh, actually I read Odina. One, I've read the first couple of pages of it, and I'm liking the way your your the artist being portrayed in the book because they're not portrayed as weak. Yeah, they're not portrayed as docile. They're not portrayed. These are strong women. Doing yeah. what they do and and kicking ass and taking names later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, listen, I, I, it's it's dope, man. I'm like, and this this right here, like I said, man, it's a double salute because we don't get enough of this, especially in in, in this genre. So when yeah. you see stuff like this, um, you like you, you just you gotta salute it, man. Like this this is really 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 nice, man. We really so just, you know how Odina is supposed to be like the Power Girl meets Rogue, Kandaki mm -hmm. is yes. like. Wonder Woman meets Angela. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 You can do that. I can see that. I can see that. And, and, yeah. Angela got a little more in the hips, but I got you. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, got you. Why in the hips. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, you got, now I got the picture in my head. I can see it. Yeah. I'm not mad at that. That's, 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 that is this. And and you know what, I see a now so especially like in Kandaki, you kind of get that Egyptian Nubian feel yeah. Of costume. Yeah, like you, you you can see that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The so that's like the Kush yeah. kingdom was back in the see Kush influenced Egypt. Ooh. Right. A lot of people don't know that. That's why Egypt was kind of like it. Kind of people just go to Egypt, but mm -hmm. it was actually the Kushite Empire that kind of like. It was kind of like a back and forth between the South Egypt and North Egypt when they would take over. So South Egypt was more darker skinned. And so they would take over North Egypt. And so you would have more of the pharaohs and pyramids and stuff like that. Whereas in, eventually it, it was just a back and forth. So most Kush people 
-hmm. influenced that lifestyle when it came to the attire and stuff like that. Drop them so jewels, bro. So I'm sorry. So that's where you're getting most of the, your costume, uh, your your costume ideas, and also the creation aspect of it. And in the, the storyline of Udina, it 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 hints at it, but it doesn't go yeah. that. It, doesn't, it it goes to a certain point, but it doesn't take it to that certain. Um, uh, there's a spot that I wanted to I wanted to ask you about. It'll come back to me. But it I see the Egyptian content, but it mostly comes back into the Kush content of it. Yes. It keeps going back and forth, right? Yeah, because okay. most people, most people, they know Egypt. They don't know much about. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So you're that's giving them a lesson at the same time. Hey, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, you know, see, I mean, that's drop them jewels on them, bro, because they don't know. They don't know about the Kushite Empire. They have no idea. But listen, see, this I appreciate because this is how you bridge that gap of those people that are not educated enough. Because once you get hooked on this, you're gonna to want to know. Wait a minute, well, wait a minute, who is this and where did that come from? Yeah. One, one bread comes leads to another bread come, and then you start getting educated on it. Yeah. So this this is this is just absolutely dope. Right. Um, so how long have you been doing this 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 Odina and just the comic thing in general? Since 2016. Okay. okay. It's, been, it's been a minute. Like it's been a I didn't realize how long it's been until like a memory came up on one of my things and I was like, oh damn. <laughs> Isn't that funny how everybody remembers that way? <laughs> it was like the first actual drawing I did of like her when I was designing her costume, everything uh, like, to down to the hairstyle, like uh, everything from Odina. Like I was doing like piece by piece. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. That's dope. Now I, I saw another group in the picture uh, in the in the in the video chase. Could you go fast forward a little bit? I wanted oh. to ask him about these uh, the group. Yes, that this team up. Well, that's the that's the whole team that she comes from. Like, so okay. she was part of the SSP, which is the Soldier Sequence Program. It's a government funded organization. So they're kind of like they have they employ superheroes. It's kind of like how My Hero Academia does, kind of, but not too much. Okay. But in the books, you're gonna see like the team come more full circle, like with her. But it's still like she's the main, like. Oh, she's like the she, she's like the Professor X of the whole thing. Not so much oh, Professor X, more what? so kind of like the Omega. Like she's Sky like Cyclops. Oh, okay, okay. I'm okay. gonna be leading the charge. <laughs> okay, she's the first one in, the last one out. Okay, okay, I got you. <laughs> but the other book you probably saw was Sister Circle X, which is another yes. That is um the characters from where is it uh. Right there, yes. Yeah. So these characters are from Odina's book, and so they come together to hunt the hybrids who escaped um, in issue six of Odina. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. now how many issues do you have of Odina? How many issues do you have of Sister Circle X? How many issues do you have of the um, the other project? Well, right now we currently have okay. issues one through four of Odina, issues one of okay. Kandaki, and issues one of Sister Circle X. And all of it oh, are wow, okay. almost completed. Like, I got five and six done. Mm -hmm. They just have to finish, you know, getting polished. Right. Um, I'm about gotcha. to begin production on more of Kandaki and Sister Circle X. And, and are, are you oh, doing okay. all the artistry or are you? No, I had a. <laughs> you know, overwhelmed a little bit. <laughs> oh, no, seriously. Like, a lot of people don't know, like, to put together the one comic book is. It's six jobs. It's a total of six jobs. When yes, it, when you're trying to do multiple hey. titles, it gets a little overwhelming. And then also, we have a film coming out. So, oh, okay. So yeah, tell us about that. <laughs> come on, now, man. Stop holding stuff hostage. <laughs> on us. Come on, man. <laughs> he just he just holding it in his pocket. He's just going like he's going to brush right on the whole film coming out. Yeah, yeah. We well, just got a film coming out. <laughs> come on, now. What's up with this film? Yeah, so I'm I'm also a film writer as well, like a screenwriter as well. So I got a film. I created a series called Drafted, which is an adaptation, a live adaptation of the Odina book. But it's not necessarily just about her. It's about the characters. It's kind of like Heroes meets Black Lightning. It takes oh, place in shit. Atlanta, and you got you're meeting people with superpowers, black people with superpowers. That is, so yeah, it's kind of like their everyday life. 
Um, my trailer, I, matter of fact, I'll send you guys the trailer we just released. Okay. Not too okay. long ago. And also, we're trying to decide on where we're going to do a premiere because we just filmed episode one. So. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yo, oh, definitely shit. let us know, man. Let's let us like like I told Lonzo and I tell everybody, our door is always open here. Whatever you got going on, you come back, you hit us. Like, yo, this is what I got going on, man. We will do whatever we can to support because that's what this platform is about. You know, pushing digital creators like yourself to the top. We absolutely love this, bro. Me personally, listen, I, I just love the fact that there's so many strong. Uh, leaders that are out front that that are women because I'm telling you I see a lot of these comic creators making these characters but you can tell like they're not alphas you know no. what I mean they're, they're not alphas they yo she's got powers but she you know there's there's nobody in there as strong as Superman there's nobody in there as strong as the Hulk yeah. and we need more of that and yeah. we need more of that and I think that's what some of us is especially like black people, black creators, we downplay some of our characters and sometimes our women characters that they got to be a bumblebee or something like that. You know, there's no disrespect. Exactly. Bumblebee, but, nah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're going to take it all the way up. All right, so let's, let's pull over. Definitely got to flip. Let's, let's pull over to the side for a minute. So, all right. Marvel or DC? Oh. Oh, you're gonna go into the questions, <laughs> yo. So, I'm, so as far as in like go to books right now, I probably go with Marvel. Yep. Okay, okay. So, all right, all right. I got okay. one. Oh, wait, I got one. For, I got one for you. All right, I need your top three, top three or top five characters out of Marvel, DC, or anime. Damn. Okay, out of Marvel, top five characters or top three probably definitely be Thor, Storm, and probably. I want to say Black Panther, because I was I was Ooh. into Black Panther way before you know the whole thing came. Yeah, up. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, right. Top three for DC will probably be uh, Ooh, Wonder Woman, Nightwing, and uh, what's I'm I'm stuck between uh, Martian Manhunter and uh, <laughs> okay. Stewart, but Ooh. oh okay. Ooh, that's 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 a hard place to be stuck at. <laughs> I won't be stuck between the two of them. But okay, characters. I'm just getting into my hero academia, so I'm still trying to learn those characters. Yeah, but, but I will say this: um, anime, anime, anime. Uh, we'll come back to that one. We'll back. Okay. okay. Uh, all right. Have you seen like uh, Demon Slayer or uh, Attack on Titan or? I got Attack of Titan on um on on like my list. See, I'm more into like the animation, like Boondocks and that stuff. Okay, 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 yes. okay, okay. Oh, you could have named you could have named Boondocks. That would have been free. That would have been fine with me. <laughs> I would have took that. That's a definitely yeah, one from well, my definitely book. my book, my go to. <laughs> yeah, Boondocks been the shit for a long time, bro. <laughs> It's a, it's a it's a it's a series that everybody sleeps on, but it's so yeah. hilarious and it's so impactful. No, that that joint is brilliant. All right, what y'all got next? Come on. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, do you? Oh, first another question. Uh, do you collect? Yes. All right. What do you collect? X Men. All right. In your X Men, in your X Men collection, what's your prize possession? What's the one thing that you would not, if somebody says, I give you 10 stacks for it? Hmm. I don't know. That's 10 stacks. Cause I'm <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, no, I would say my best X Men possession would probably be Extension Agenda graphic novel. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm feeling that. Look, but someone giving ten stacks, I'm throwing that bitch. <laughs> 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 you give me ten stacks, I might have to get that up. You know? I like what you got. Oh, go. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of stuff that I would give up, man. It's, it's, it's ten stacks, but it's still freaking. It's it's yeah, in man, there. Right, I I get it, bro. I get it, man. Um. So. Oh, you got another, you got another what, one? What's the, what's, the, what's the one book you don't have that you like? If, if I ever get the money, I'm getting it. Hmm. 
You know what it'd be? It'd probably be um that Jim Lee's art book that he created a while back. The, the sixty for sixty? Oh. Huh? You talking about the one he did over the pandemic? I think it's called sixty for sixty. I know. I think it's another one he did. What was? It? No, it's the one before yeah, that. It was the one before that it was like a huge collection of all his artwork and. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Like okay. I've always been a fan of Jim Lee. Like he won the one of the main people who inspired me to get into comics. Okay. 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 Well, that's the question that I. That's the question that I was about to okay. ask you. What was one of your? Could you name me another one of your inspirations that brought you into the game? Let me see. Well, you say that inspired you to do exactly what you're doing now. And well, definitely Jim Lee. I'll probably say after that. Probably, I want to say Jack Kirby, because I. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. Naming good naming goats. <laughs> like, naming the goats. I like Stan Lee, but let's be clear, Jack Kirby definitely created yeah. you, know? you you got that, you hit that on the nose right there. <laughs> Jack, I, I always say one thing. Uh Stan Lee was the minds, yeah. Jack Kirby was the pencil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, bro. Stan Lee would tell you, hey, I'm thinking about this character. Jack Kirby would be the first person to be like, hey, there we go. Right, <laughs> Yeah, like people don't realize that a lot of what we define now is what a superhero is supposed to look like kind of really came from Jack Kirby, especially modern day. You go back to his original drawings, everything that he's done is kind of re inferred from that, and now they regurgitate it into their own thing and whatnot. Yeah. So, and now that oh, actually, a good fun fact about Jack Kirby they're thinking about putting his some of his artwork in the um, uh. Natural Museum of Art or something oh, like that up in New yeah. York. Yeah. yeah, that's that. Listen, it's it's way overdue, bro. Way overdue. <laughs> way yes. overdue. Speaking, but being over, being overdue. Way overdue. Now, question: Do you collect with your for your um for your section or for your um books for concrete? Are you planning on making statues? Are you planning on what's the next step forward? <laughs> Since you 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 are ready in the movie you're biz, ready. and you got in your promote, and, and you let you you shine off of the movie biz, and I need the premiere date. The first wait, first off, I need a, I need the premiere date. When is it available to to the regular com for us yeah. folk, for we can go watch it? And I need to know if it's going to be on a streaming service or if it's going to be on us on a channel or, or anywhere we can find so it. So funny you say that because I just got done help like writing a, a script with someone else, like a wholly different like feature. So for this, okay. I got time now to focus back on this. And I'm like, do I want to do? I want to do like an in person premiere, but at the same time, I also want to do an online premiere. So okay. I'm, try, I'm oh. trying to do both. I'm trying to figure out both. So um, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm definitely gonna share it because everyone who saw okay. it from my director to my associate producer, it was like, yeah, we we gotta. Yeah. Like, yeah. I yeah. would love to eventually go to a platform. Um, I would love to go to possibly like an all black. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just to you know, be like my own little world over there. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, right. That's that's dope. That's dope. And and, and uh any statues when he do you deal, bro? You know what the Dina statue gonna look like, bro? Yo, so it's funny you say that. So because Lonzo, <laughs> Lonzo just was like, he, the artist just sent me the design for the Dina statue. He ain't share it with me yet. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't gonna do that. Come on, now he gotta get you know, he gotta make you wait a little bit. <laughs> He's gonna send you little samples of everything, you know? like an arm. A leg. <laughs> so it is. It is happening. It's just he hasn't told me yet. And speaking of which, I'm glad you brought it up because I'm gonna stay. On, look, I'm gonna circle back to him about that too. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, we had because we had Alonzo on uh, last week. Last right? week, yeah, we did. Yeah, we we had Alonzo on, and he was showing us some of the <laughs> the statues that he brought out. I was Yo. like. Whoever you have doing those statues, yeah, yeah. keep him on the books because <laughs> they are official. Yeah, bro. Like, dude, do you do you see this picture on the screen? You know that's gonna look like live in a statue, though. Oh, I think that was one of the ideas. I was like, someone was like having her lifting something. Yeah, up. That, that big concrete up. Yeah. Listen, that that's that's gonna. That's it. I I guarantee you, everybody who has a daughter or a niece will have that statue in their room. Yeah. What? Nine times out of ten, yeah, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. They will have that in a room. And the same thing with Kandaki, like. Uh, yeah. I, I, 
that just brings that just says strength. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's just says strength. The, the, her pose, her look, and the way she's just standing there just says strength. And that's one of the things that is like there's not yeah. one weak cover that I've seen yet. So I'm like, shit. <laughs> this is all they all have that look, that confidence that I will kick your ass if you mess around too much. <laughs> you, know, you know what's funny? Kandaki is the opposite of Odina when I was creating her. Like, whereas an Odina is kind of like more good, like she's more kind natured where she, even though she'll talk her smack, she she won't take you, she won't kill you. Right. Okay. Okay. Unless you provoke her. However, Kandaki, she she's taking you down. Um, Kandaki, <laughs> Kandaki says she don't play that. Yeah. <laughs> you said that even a little bit. Oh. She said, she do you play that? Like, nah. Like, My kind track. of woman. Yeah. Go, check out the, go check out the issue one digital. Trust me. You're going to be like, oh. oh no, we gonna, we're definitely going to go through this, man. We're going we gonna to stay in touch. We're going to keep with you. Because like I said, I, I thought it's always open, man. So anything else you need to let the people know? Yes. Please uh, follow me on IG um, through Concrete Comics as well as mine, Obsolete Studio LLC. Uh, B. I will be back on here with the fellas when we drop the uh, premiere yes. for Grafted Origins, which is the uh, live adaptation and spinoff series of Odina. So. Oh, yeah, definitely coming back for that, bro. That's that's that's, 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 that's for sure, for sure. We're going to do that, man. So yeah. let me ask you a question. So where are you located? I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, you're in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up, man. Hey, listen. We, we, definitely, definitely. Anything we always going to – Sorry, Chase. Okay. We definitely, we just want to make sure that you know that, like Chase, always we always say before we let our artists leave, our house is your house. Yeah. Any any time that we can help out, or you need a, a, a spin off, you need to get some word out, you need some, you want anything Whatever. from us, our door is always open. Oh, man. Well, all you sure. gotta, all you gotta do is hit us up. Hit us and up. We, 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 one way or another, we'll make it happen. We'll make like, it happen, baby. That's what we do around here. You gotta realize that there's six. There's in this podcast group, in our podcast, our man cave podcast group is six of us. So once we have a whole screen coming on, it's it it takes off and it keeps flying and it keeps going out. And that's what we want. And that's what we want to give. We want to give all of our content creators that that support us to the same amount of support, and then give them a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. anytime that you have anything that you need to put out, we here for you. All right. Yeah. Well, you like the cat, the, the came back. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's all right, man. All right, yo, listen, man, Anaji, man, I want to thank you for coming through once again, bro. We love the work, man. We love the titles. They dope. You know what I'm saying? Best of luck on everything. Like I said, we're going to be seeing you real soon. I already know that and whatnot. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Listen, we gonna salute and we'll see you soon, bro. Have a good one. Yes, hey, hey, give me my thing music.